Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just basically a talk through of what's been going on with me for the last couple weeks and why I haven't filmed. Um, so I'm gonna be doing this look, but I'm not talking through it, but I will list everything that I use. It's a really pretty soft glam look, you know, heavy lashes, um, but not like bright, bright colors or anything like that. So it's a really nice, easy, kind of natural um, glam look. I did use some products um, and I will list everything that I use, but I did use this brand. Um, called Lime Life. I've used it before, you guys have seen it before, but I got a lot more products because they had a, a, a sale. So I decided to try a lot of products that um, they carry, um, as well as some skincare that they have. Like these are like this little one called Sotox. It's like a little Botox in a bottle, supposedly. And the One Drop Wonder is like a little carrier oil for this one. My skin has felt so hydrated since I've started using these. Um, it also has like a setting spray and a primer spray. So um, I've used those before. I just never use the little skincare parts, but my skin's really loving those. So I'm super happy I was able to try a lot of this stuff on their sale. Um, it's called Lime Life by Alcone if you wanted to go you know, check out their website. And then at the end I do mention the lashes that I'm wearing because this person that I follow is the one that created this line. So yeah, so anyways, um, it is kind of another one of those all over the place chit chat videos because like I said, I'm not very good at them, but I just wanted to um, sit down and talk to you guys because of I've been MIA for a while So I wanted to let you guys know where I've been and what's been going on So I hope you guys enjoy this video um, Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel and if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching Okay, so I'm just starting out with my brows and um, you guys already know how I do my brows. I will finish up one more step um, After I've done my foundation, but um, like I said, I'm gonna just do a talk through so um, I will you know kind of say if there's something that I want to describe and what I'm using, but I will list everything below. Um, the reason why I want to do a chit chat today, it's first of all, it's been a while, but there's been so much going on. So basically I've wanted to do a video since August because um, August 14th would have been four years that I've been on YouTube actually. Um, for those of you who are new, um, I started my YouTube channel six months after my brother passed away and um, it was a really challenging time for me so doing YouTube was something that I wanted to do for years but I never had the opportunity because I worked with one makeup line and I thought it was like a conflict of interest so I pretty much um, held off on doing it until after I got out of the cosmetic industry. For those of you that didn't see my first video when I described, you know, me starting my channel. Um, I did it because my brother knew how much I loved um, watching um, videos and, you know, that I loved doing makeup and I wasn't in the makeup industry anymore. So he's like, why don't you, you know, start your YouTube channel? So basically, like I held off for a long time and until my brother passed away is when I decided to make my channel. So what I like about you know, doing my YouTube channel, and I don't have like a lot of subscribers or anything, it's something for me. It like literally is a satisfying feeling when I actually make a video because it breaks up my, you know, my daily routine of just going to work every day, coming home, you know? So when I have a, a, a free time to do a makeup video and I'm able to, you know, just sit down here and just kind of do makeup, it's fun for me. And it like literally gives me happiness. Um, but that week that I was going to do my um, video for my fourth year anniversary kind of thing, um, I had a um, breast cancer scare. I've been getting uh, mammograms since I turned 40 and I'm now 47, so I've been having them for seven years. And I've never really, I mean, I've been worried, you know, scared or whatever because I do have breast cancer in my family on my dad's side. so. Of course, I'm, I'm, you know, get scared, you know, but, but I've never really like freaked out like when I'm taking my, my uh, mammograms, like really like thinking like they're going to find something, you know what I mean? It was just, it's just weird. Like, you know, you really don't want to think it like that. Well, long story short, I didn't take, um, you guys know that I had um, my uh, breast redone um, literally the beginning of 2020. So, um, like right before COVID happened, I was so glad I actually got in. But because of that, because of COVID, um, I wasn't able to get my um, mammogram last year. So this time when I had my mammogram, um, I basically 
um, they called me and said that they found something and they needed to do another screening. And I'm like freaking out because I'm like, that's never been told to me, you know, in seven years of getting mammograms. So, you know, and I'm thinking, oh my God, I missed my mammogram last year, maybe, you know, but then I thought about it and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Well, I did, did just get a new set of implants. Maybe, maybe there's scar tissue or something that, you know, that they're seeing, whatever. Well, long story short, I go to get my second screening and the lady like totally freaked me out because like the radiologist lady, because first of all, from my understanding, when you're a radiologist, you're not supposed to tell them what they see. Um, because when I first walked in there, she's like, um, I just want you to know that I looked over your chart and your photos because I wanted to see what I'm supposed to be, um, you know, what image I'm supposed to be getting, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, and I think it's gonna be a little hard to get the image that they want. And I'm thinking, why are you telling me this? You know what I mean? She's like, uh, let me show you what I'm working with here and what we're seeing. And she literally showed me my my uh, image on the on the thing. And she's like, this is what we see. Like there was like um, little dots or whatever. And she's like, uh, this is what we're seeing right here. And we just have to get a bit better visual of this. And she's like, but don't worry, 89% of it times it's benign. So obviously right there, I'm like, oh my God, I thought she, they saw scar tissue and they're really seeing something in there. And she said it's on a cellular level. So I freaked out, you guys. Like I have never been so scared. But I'm very religious, so I basically prayed a lot and just said, you know, you know, please don't let it be cancer, you know. And they did actually call me back and say that um, that it was um, benign. I thought they were going to have to do some kind of a, you know, test, you know, like basically biopsy it, but they didn't. So that lady basically just freaked me out for nothing because she shouldn't have told me anything. You know, because I wasn't waiting for them to call me and tell me that it was benign. I was waiting for them to call me and schedule me to get it um, a biopsy. But when they said it's benign, I'm like, what? You guys didn't even test it. You know what I mean? So she basically worried me for nothing. So long story short, that that was like so scary for me. And I just obviously didn't have any kind of um, energy to, you know, be like, oh, I'm going to make a video, you know? And then... You know, fast forward the next week when it's, you know, then all of a sudden there's all these like storms and hurricanes that's happening on the East Coast and my in-law lives over there. And, you know, I'm just like, everything's been happening. It's like, God, like what is going on? I just wasn't in the mood to do anything. And I felt really bad because I just really wanted to kind of celebrate my four year, you know, anniversary on here. But instead I've been like, you know, not, you know, in a good place, you know, just, so, you know, I just feel like, you know, I tell you guys, I like to do TikToks. Well, how am I going to do a TikTok when people are like losing their lives? And, you know, that's what kept, that's what I started TikTok for was, you know, during quarantine. And it was just such a way to get your mind off everything. But I, I just fell in love with it. And I just, it's such a fun thing for me. But when, you know, things are happening in the world, it's like, you can't just be like, you know, so I just kind of stopped that. And, um, yeah, it's like really sad. And obviously my kids started school, so it's just so much been going on. Uh, really quickly, I'm gonna put this uh, Lime Life by Alcone. Um, it's the first base primer. The only reason I'm describing this is because basically from my understanding, um, I don't know a lot about the product, but I do follow someone on Instagram. And well, actually I followed her first on Facebook because um, that's where I found her, who um, basically is a rep for this product. And um, she is, you know, uh, a, a trainer for that product. So she basically said that you have to wear this to go along with the, um, the foundation because it's a wax base. So basically it separates between the foundation and your skincare um, and then really helps to kind of adhere the two together, your foundation and um, to this primer. So that's why I'm telling you that. I do have this really cool palette. I've had this before, but I've actually used this line before. I'm sure you guys have seen me use the powder a lot, the concealer. Um, I actually used to use this foundation before, but I um, I don't know what I did with it, but um, maybe it got old and I threw it away and I didn't realize it, but um, I just wanted to try it out again. And so I got the little palette. So I put my old concealer in there and I got a new um, cream contour and the foundation. So that's what I'm just gonna be using right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my foundation. Um, and I'm just gonna use this little brush um, to put it on. So basically you guys, um, like I said, I've, I'm just really like, so, I, 
I'm very envious of people that do this for a living because for me, I'm such an emotional person <laughs> that like I have to be in the mood to do this. Like if this was my job, I would be a wreck, you know? Um, um, so today as, as much as I wanted to do, not do a video today because I got more bad news today, you guys. And that's actually why I jumped on today. Cause I said, you know what? I was telling my husband, I said, I'm probably never going to want to do a video again because I just keep, things just keep, or he's the one who said to me, are you going to do a video? You haven't done one in a while. I said, you know what? This so much shit's been happening. It's like, I don't even feel like making one, you know? And, and then he's like, well, he's like, what happened? And then I told him, I literally just found out today that, um, oh my God, I'm just, I don't even want to cry, but this guy that I, I don't work with him directly, but he's a guy that works in an, um, I don't say where I work. I don't think any, I don't think anybody knows where I work. I just don't like to say where I work, but I work in a, um, for retail, but the guy who works in, um, California for the same company, um, he also used to, he used to work as a character in Disneyland, you guys. He is the nicest guy you'll ever meet. Like, so freaking funny. I mean, think about it. If you're a character at Disneyland, you obviously have a great personality, right? You know, you're fun. You know, uh, I'm like the biggest lover of Disneyland. So, like, I was so, like, thought he was, like, the coolest person ever. Um, like, I even told him, I said, frick, I would love to work at Disneyland. You know, like, I don't care. Pay me whatever. I would love to work at Disneyland because it's, like, the happiest place on earth, right? Well, he literally was that person. So nice, so happy. Um, I never, like for years, um, I would only hear him over the phone. Like if I needed something or he needed something, we'd call each other. So I felt like I already knew him, but I was lucky enough, um, literally the month, the, the year before COVID, it was July of 2019, I got to go to New York um, for a special um, thing for my work. And I got to meet him in person. And oh my God, he was so nice. Well, you guys, I keep saying he was, so obviously you hear, he passed away today, today. And, um, God, he was just so nice, you guys. Like, he was only 40, I heard. Um, and he was literally just got called back to Disneyland to go back to work. And he was, um, he was, um, practicing for his show at the parade. And they said that he just collapsed. So... Can you imagine, like, I'm like devastated right now because this guy, you have no idea, like, such a personality. Like, I mean, I can't even describe how sweet and just funny and just so much personality. Like, I'm just like, God, I wanna meet you one day. And I did. Everything just keeps happening. Like, I just don't even feel like doing anything anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do it. I'm just gonna make a video and just talk to you guys, you know? Um, it's nice for me to have no matter I don't have very many people that are following me It's like I still like to do it. So for those of you that do follow me. Thank you so much um, And it is just like a it's like a getaway, you know, just to like set up my little lights I wish like I said, I wish I had this set up all the time. I probably would come on a lot um, more but I just get so like um, Unmotivated and then when shit happens like this when people die. Um, my friend last night had just told me that she's lived in New York um, all her life and she's up to her knees in fricking um, water from the floods out there. Like, is it like the end of the world right now? Like, is this like God's wrath? You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, thank God I'm good with God. You know what I mean? Cause this is what it seems like is happening. Pretty scary if you ask me. So anyways, it's just been really challenging for me to motivate myself. If I just sit around at home, I'm like, I'm probably gonna get more depressed. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do something fun for myself um, and just, um, yeah, just kind of do my video. So that's, that's what's been going on with me. Not to mention, I grew up in Lake Tahoe, you guys, and where the fires are right now up in Lake Tahoe is like where I used to live. Um, I don't really have a lot of friends myself up in Tahoe anymore because I um, I really don't talk to a lot of people anymore from my childhood, but my twin sister does and she's got a couple really, really good friends still that live up there and they are evacuated. So how scary is that? Fires, flooding, hurricanes, you know what I mean? It's like, damn, this is literally like when they say that, you know, God's gonna 
end the world one day with all, you know, I mean, there's viruses, like what the frick? Um, well, speaking of that, I guess we can jump back on that one again because that's the weirdest thing again, that we're back in masks again. You know, as I'm a mask um, advocate, like I'm definitely not one that would, you know, I'm definitely more for the mask than not, but I don't like wearing it. <laughs> I have to wear it at work all day long. Um, and I don't like it, of course, but I'm gonna do it, you know, cause I don't wanna be wearing it all, you know, all the time, but it's so weird that like literally right after the 4th of July, cause I haven't talked about it, I haven't done any chit chats for a while. So after the 4th of July, our store um, where I work, um, we went to, um, you know, where you don't have to wear a mask. So, um, well, if you're vaccinated in my store, but, but the clients that came in didn't have to wear one. So I noticed a lot of difference of people like a little bit more happy and stuff, not having another mask. So it was a really like nice, pleasant thing, but literally um, it went back to masks again. So, but what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? It's like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Does that mean I'm happy about it? No. Um, so yeah, it's just been one thing after another. Like I just, I can't even, deal with the fact that that so much is going on right now um there was another thing that happened i totally didn't even um mention that you know a huge reason why i didn't make a video is my dog i have a little um i've done some tiktoks with her so <laughs> you guys follow me on tiktok i recently made another one with her too but my little dog is um 15 she's a little dotson and um she was just literally, and this was probably like a few days after my, um, when I found out that I was okay. She's just been not like wanting to eat her food. Like, like for instance, okay, so she's been eating the same dog food forever, but she just stopped wanting to eat her dog food. So I was just like giving her little people food, you know, and I'd put it in her dog food and she would eat it. Then all of a sudden she would just now pick out the little people food uh, and, you know, eat that. So I was like, you know what? She's getting older. I might as well just let her eat what she wants. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I know that she's older. I'm like, who cares? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and give her what she wants. So I was doing that, but then all of a sudden now she's not wanting to eat her people food. So I was like, what the hell? So I said, you know what? I better take her to the vet. So I take her to the vet and sure enough, she's got kidney failure. I'm like, what? So, um, she was already on heart medicine and that's why I had to give her like whatever kind of medicine I can give her for her, for her heart to make sure she's eating because she's got to take her little heart medicine. Well, then they are like, um, you know, we have to do this um, procedure on her to drain her or to um, flush out her kidneys. Um, Cause like whatever kind of thing is in there, like proteins or something, whatever gets in there. She's like, we, he's like, we got to flush it out. So of course I was gonna do that, you know what I mean? And, and it was like a $500 procedure, but I'm like, yeah, do it, you know? And so he basically did that. And you know, he said that her levels were really good. They went down from 99 to 33. So he's like, that's really good. So um, long story short, she's been home for another like two weeks now. Um, and he, oh, he brought her home with a kidney diet, but Sure enough, she doesn't want to eat that. So he had told me that I can go ahead and give her, um, what do you call it? That I could give her boiled chicken and rice. So that's what I've been giving her. So yeah, he basically told me, you know, that obviously I have to, um, you know, monitor her and see how she's, you know, doing. But, you know, she's just really tired all the time. Like she sleeps all the time and, you know, she just eats that little, little bit of food and, just not herself because she, you know she's so old I don't expect her to be running around chasing balls like she used to but she's just not herself and so anyways that that time when they basically told me that you know I was like freaking out you know because I mean, god I've had her since she was one and um that's another thing that it's like one thing after another after another it's like wow what is going on praying that she's gonna be okay at least for a little while longer I'm gonna take this bronzer really quick I'm just gonna show you I caught this cool little palette had that that's the the powder I always use, but now I, I've had these bronzers. I just never use them because I have like a thousand bronzers, but since I'm using this brand, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. One of them has a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna take the matte one right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of hoping and praying that she's gonna be okay because she's just my little girl, you know, and 
she loves me to death. She follows me everywhere I go. My husband just jokes about it all the time. <laughs> How she just like literally just follows me everywhere I go. So, so yeah, it's been really hard, you guys. And, and all this started happening around the same time that I wanted to make that an um, my little anniversary video to celebrate me being on here for four years. But instead, I just was like, um, not motivated to even um, come on here. So I just decided I'm gonna just jump on and do it, you know? So that's that's why I'm here today. <laughs> um, otherwise I wouldn't have been doing one at all. So I know it's kind of like a weird random video. I you guys can know about me because I just kind of feel, you know, like in order to like get followers, you have to like be consistent. I'm definitely not consistent. So um, I'm not really expecting anything to ever come of this channel, but um, it is fun, like I said, and I just wanted to let you guys know who do follow me that that's what's going on with me, that I'm not trying to not do videos. I'm just got a lot of shit going on and a lot of sadness in the world, so I don't feel like this is important. Oh, you know what's funny is this reminds me of 9-11 um, is coming up <laughs> next week, and um, I used to work for Estee Lauder. Um, they used to have a freestanding boutique at the Caesars Palace um, hotel and I used to work there and literally my training day I already worked there for like a couple months and then I had to do my formal training with like other new hires from around the city and um, guess what day it was 9-11 so I basically we were going to I was headed to the Venetian at like 7 o'clock in the morning the Venetian hotel and um, I was listening to on the radio as I'm driving about you know, it was just the news and I was like, what? So I literally called um, my ex at that time and I was like, oh my God, what's going on, you know? So he turned on the TV and told me, I literally get to the Venetian and I'm wondering like, am I gonna even have this training, you know? So I get there and the lady's like, you know, I don't expect you guys to like <laughs> learn how to put lipstick on and stuff and learn about lipstick if you don't want to. If you guys wanna go home, you can. Um, but if you want to stay, you know, we'll have the TVs on so we can watch it. So, you know, I was new, so I wasn't going to be like the only one to leave, but everybody pretty much stayed. Um, and I don't even remember how, how we got through a training, but we basically had the TV on. We were watching it the whole time, but that's crazy that, you know, that was like how I'm feeling right now when you have tragedy going on, but you still, the show has to go on. Well, this is, this is my show. Um, so I just wanted to just continue and do my little video um, even though like inside like I'm super sad I'm super like heartbroken for everything that's going on in this world for everybody that's losing family members their homes like all this stuff going on I'm sad about my dog like you know how much longer do I have her like everything's just so weird but this is life right this is a crazy life that we live in right now too like seriously it's unbelievable just can't even you know believe like this stuff that's going on it's like not even real you know what I mean it's like what the heck but yeah it's like a movie literally like you just you you don't even see movies like this all the all the stuff going on in this world right now all at once you know so yeah um well I kind of talked about everything I wanted to talk about so I'm gonna jump off really quick do my lashes fix my hair do my lips I'll come back and write. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I will go ahead and list everything that I used because I did everything really fast. But I do want to mention the lashes that I used. These are actually the luxury lashes from Tread Beauty Lashes. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because this is the person that I follow. Her name is Stephanie Treadway. I followed her on Facebook. I found her somehow. Um, she came up on one of my feeds and she's the one that I started getting the Lime Life. She, she's like a rep for this, but she created her own lash brand. So I definitely like these lashes and I also got another one from her called um, Elegant. These are the luxury lashes. I don't think she's gonna mind if I throw her name in here because um, I'm basically trying to promote her line. So anyways, um, I will list everything that I used. Um, I have to hurry up because my kids just came back from baseball. I'm in their room and they're gonna wanna go to bed pretty soon. And it was kind of like, again, like one of my chit chats are like usually all over the place, but I just kind of wanted to tell you what was on my heart and yeah, and just still make a video at the same time. I hope you guys like this video. So please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.